I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com. Today is February 23rd, 2020, and in this video I'll be showing you how to install the latest firmware in your Prusa Mini and also in your Prusa i3 Mark III since both of mine need updates. Okay, first of all, what is firmware and why do I need to even update it? Uh, so for those who may be really new to this, firmware is just like the operating system for your for your printers. So it's kind of like installing a new Windows. So when you have a Windows on your on your operating system or Android device or whatever, if all of a sudden there are some changes that occur, you might need to update your OS, the latest version, because they have some fixes. So firmware, you can think of that just like an OS. They've patched some things, they've fixed some things. You just need to up or update the OS to the new OS that has those fixes. Um, but how do you know that you need a new one? Well, right now, if you've approved the i3 Mark III, or anything like, well, anything but the Prusa Mini, there's a nice feature. If you have the slicer, if you're using the Prusa slicer to create your, your slices and you have it set up, I may be a little bit wrong on this, but your preference is when you set it up, you can actually set it to set up to uh, talk to the Prusa and pull down new defaults and presets. And it will also pull down information. If you have it set up, set up the correct way, it will also pull down information on the most current um, um, firmware out there. And what it will do, if I, I pulled up some G code here right now, what I have right now, I, I made a print and I'll show you how it works. Uh, this is G code for my Prusa i3 Mark III. And there's a code here, M115, U3.8.1, which tells the printer, hey, if your current firmware is lower than this number, flash on a screen and say, hey, you need to upgrade. That's kind of a convenient thing. So you get told that pretty easily on the i3 Mark III. Uh, however, right now, if you make, if I took this same file in Prusa Slicer and I made a G code for the Prusa Mini, there is no M115 code made because I guess right now the Prusa Mini doesn't doesn't, doesn't have the code to handle that. I imagine it will in the future because it's kind of a nice thing to have this thing flash up. Okay, it can be annoying at times, but it's kind of a nice, easy, simple reminder if when it all coordinates together. But if you for right now for the Prusa Mini, we don't have that, so the only way to really easily tell is number one, you'll probably get emailed. I got emailed by the Prusa team saying, hey, there's a new firmware out there. Get excited, go download it. Uh, otherwise, from time to time, if you don't get that, you go to prusa3d.com drivers, go down to the mini and check the latest firmware and compare it to the firmware you currently have installed. So next what I'm gonna go do is go show on both machines, how do I see what firmware is currently installed? And right now for um, the Prusa Mini, we have the 4.0.3 is the latest. And for the i3 Mark III is 3.8.1. Um, we'll go see what, what's the latest, and then we'll go download and get them installed. Okay, so to see what firmware you currently have, so on the Prusa Mini, all you got to do is go to the information, click on that. Go to system version info, click on that. And there's your firmware. So you can see right now I'm at 4.0.1 and I want to update to 4.0.3. That's how you find the firmware on that one. Now, when it comes to the i3 Mark III over here, similar kind of thing. I can go click on here, go to, let's see, I think it's in settings. Go into settings. Maybe not. Ah, I should have checked this before. You know when you assume you know what you're doing? Let's see, uh, info screen maybe. No, that's the main info screen. Statistics. Uh, no, I think support. it's statistics. It's support. It's support? Ah, support. support. It's been so long. Okay, support. There we go. There we go. Former 3.8.1. That's what I have installed right now. But I'll show you the cool thing on here. Um, since I've made a new uh, print recently, if I go to... Go here, and I say print, and I go to one of the... I have to go to a, a print that has that M115 code. And if I go to... I've got one somewhere. Testing. My backyard again has one. So if I go here and print it, boom, boom, I get that beep, and it stops. And it says, hey, I need 3.8.1 because that, because that G code. Then I hit enter, and I can keep going, so I don't have to install the new updates, but um, that's a cool thing. And I think, well, I would guess that it eventually would be on the Prusa Mini, but right now, it's not part of Prusa Mini, but I bet you it will be. Okay, so with that, let's get to installing the firmware. 
Okay, so you need to download these, uh, download the firmware. So you go to prusa3d.com slash drivers, and I can go down to, uh, let's see, the Prusa, uh, where's my Prusa Mini? Go to the Prusa Mini right here, and just download this. Hit click download 4.0.3, it'll download just fine. And then also you need to download, I'm downloading the i3 Mark III. It's important to know there's an i3 Mark III S, which is the latest one, but there's also an i3 Mark III and they're slightly different. So I have the i3 Mark III, not the S. So I will go down to the i3 Mark III and click download and download that guy. And then what I will do is, let me open up my shortcut, grab them, and I will take this file, drop it there. Oh, replace it, because I did this earlier. And then I will go to the uh, i3 Mark i3 Mark III and grab this hex file and drop it here. So now I should have this guy. And where'd my other one go? You disappeared on me. Ah, there we go. So I have my two files. One is for the i3 Mark III and one is for the uh, Prusa Mini. Now, for the i3 Mark III, it's an easy procedure because what we have to do, let me go pull this up is if you look here on your Prusa i3 Mark III, or okay, the, the S12, you should have a big USB port. So all you gotta do is come over here. I've already got it hooked in, is you have to get, I think these are type A connectors, the big mama jamas, the old USB connectors. So you need to plug that in, and then plug it into your computer, which I've already done over here. And then open up your Prusa slicer. In your Prusa slicer, it's just a convenient tool they put in there. You can go to configurations, say flash for printer firmware, click on that, and then browse for the hex file that we just downloaded. Grab that, hit open, and then it's already found the serial port it's communicating on. If not, if this doesn't have something in here, you might have to hit rescan. But now that's good to go. All you gotta do is hit flash. And let me start recording the screen over here as I do it. So I'll come over here, I hit flash, and it will stop updating there. Start updating. Now it's important while this all hap occurs, don't disconnect your printer. Okay, it's done here. It'll take a second to talk to um, the Prusa slicer, and it should all be happy. There we go, flashing successful. So now I can go over here and I can hit my. Oh, I had that changed for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I can go down to my support, and I can see now I'm firmware 3.8.1. MK3. So I'm good to go on this one. Now to update uh, my other printer it is a little more involved. So, well, I should say less involved. I kind of like the way they did it. So I don't think you can connect it. So th the printer does have a USB uh, C connection, but I don't think they intend you to do that way, to connect it that way. I think I'll try it, see if I can do it. But the way to do it right now is much simpler. So all you gotta do is pull your flash card out. Connect it to your computer, and all you really need to do is I will take that firmware, let's see, not that one, there it is, dot .bff, so I'll take that and just drop it in here. Drop it here at the base directory, and we'll see, I should have a couple of them now. I have the original one they sent. Uh, which is the 4.0.1, here's the 4.0.3, and we'll, it's just a process. So let's go take this and plug it in and restart it and walk through the procedure. Okay, so I have this powered up. So if I plug it in, which of course you always plug it in backwards, don't you? If I plug it in, If I plug it in, there we go. <laughs> if I plug it in, you'll get your typical thing where it'll, it'll show you the latest print. And so it's not going to update it. So what you got to do is you have to restart it. So if I shut it off, start it up, 
it'll find it. So there it goes. It found it right there. 4.03. All you gotta do is hit flash, hit the button, and now it's gonna flash it. And now I can go here to information, version information, and we're at 4.0.3. So that's how you flash your firmware for your Prusa Mini and your i3 Mark III. Um, I will do one more test as I finish this video up because I am curious because I do have a USB-C connection here. Can I plug this into my computer and do it through the Prusa Slicer? I don't know, but I will give it a shot. Oh, and also one last thing I will do after that is how do you downgrade? What happens if you install 4 point whatever and there's a problem with it or a problem that affects you? Like for example, for this one, 4.0.3 you can no longer use the Ethernet port. So what happens if you are using the Ethernet port? You need to go downgrade. How do you downgrade? So let me go try to finish those two, figure out those two last things. Can I connect directly to this? And how do you downgrade? Okay, first I misspoke. This does not have USB-C, it has USB micro. I did try to connect it up and I don't think I can update the firmware that way. If someone's aware of a way, you know, tell me or maybe it's gonna change in the future. But right now, I don't see a way I can do it by connecting to the computer. But also, I do like the convenience of just dumping it on the USB, and that seemed to be a real simple way to do it. Uh, but in the future, maybe there'll be more ways of upgrading it. But how do you downgrade? So to downgrade on the Prusa i3 Mark III is really easy. We just have to do the process we did before. You know, get the, get the version you want, and they have all the older versions. Download it, and then go through the process in the slicer, and just choose the older version, and update the firmware. It's that easy. But on this one, it's not quite the same. What you need to do is, on your USB drive, uh, remove all but the version you want to be installed because it'll always try to find the latest one. Um, so right now I removed 4.0.3 on this and I just have 4.0.1. So now if I plug it in, the same thing will happen that it, you know nothing goes on. Now what I do is if I do just a reboot, it will see the 4.0.1 there. Oh, now it's being nice. I wasn't doing that earlier. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, okay, I didn't try this. I did have the 4.0.3 and the 4.0.1 earlier. Let me try that again. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, I guess it just sees it. So here I could hit flash and go for it. Um, before, I'm going to skip it because I don't need to do it, but before uh, Tim Zickus was saying, and I, and I did try this earlier, now I'm confused, that if I reboot it, typically when I reboot it, it would just, hmm, I, I'm confused now because I thought I just did this. Let me try one more time. Okay, I guess if you just get it down to the one, it's okay. Um, I swear this was not coming up. <laughs> But if this does not come up for you when you're trying to downgrade, all you got to do is during the boot up process, hold down the button. Now it could have been, since I just did that, I just held down the button, maybe it's now in a mode where it's actually looking for it. So maybe I switched something when I did that. But a few minutes ago when I did this and all I had was the 4.0.1, when I started up, it, it did nothing. It just went to the boot. It went and loaded up just fine. It did nothing. It didn't look for it. So I had to hold down the button. So maybe because I held down the button, now it's in the mode. I don't know. But anyway, get it down to just the one you want to downgrade to, restart it, and if nothing comes up, restart it and hold down the button. That's what I did. Maybe I flipped something in the logic and now it's just constantly going there. And then you just downgrade, so you can downgrade. So it's, it's good to know how to do that because sometimes they might, like they're doing right now, take away a feature or mess something up that you was working for you and now it's not working for you. But anyway, there's, there's enough information. So there's how you update your firmware on your Prusa Mini and your Prusa i3 Mark III, and also how you can go back and downgrade both of them. So, there you be. Hey, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, give it a thumbs down. Also, if you like what we're doing here, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. And lastly, have a piece of info to share? Just post a comment.